In this video, we'll be taking a look at some new AI add-ons for Blender, which will hopefully boost your workflow. From a personalized AI assistant, a quick and easy text or 3D model generator, in addition to a way to improve your backgrounds and renders. So I'm sure you will find some of these add-ons worth checking out. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know guys that the Blender Market is having right now a huge summer sale with 25% discount on thousands of Blender products from add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Also, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the best add-ons and courses that can take your projects to the next level. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Dent AI, and this one is making waves lately, because it is designed to assist you with your work inside Blender. And the add-on works like an AI assistant inside the software. Some of the features you will find are the personal assistant, a feature explanation window, task automation, a text generator, and so on. And the thing I never thought will exist in Blender is that you can ask the add-on anything and it will help you. In addition, it will generate an explanation on how exactly to do that, and it will even recommend some other helpful tips to use. The add-on also features a chat pop-up, a feature explainer that can provide a detailed explanation with some examples for any tool inside Blender. In addition, you have a task automation, a texture and reference image generator, and an auto organizer. The image in painting allows you to edit images on the go when you want to change some small details in the references. And the last features are for rendering. The thing is, the add-on won't do the work for you, because from what I can see, it is only here to make it easier, especially for beginners. It also uses credit work. The individual license is free, with 200 credits for only the personal assistant and the feature explainer. And the enterprise plan costs $19 or $20 and $90 respectively, with 1,000 and 5,000 credits for each. You can also get 4,000 credits for $5. The second add-on in today's video is gonna be Blender AI Library Pro. This is actually a 5-in-1 add-on as it provides you with five AI tools, including Image to 3D, Text to 3D, Text to Image, Text to HDRI, and Text to BBR. You can use these tools separately, or you can use them with each other in your workflow, depending on what you need, honestly. And you can guess what each tool can do by its name alone. And anyone who has used AI before can jump right in and start generating. The only thing you will need to be aware of before starting to write any prompts is that you will need to be really precise to get what you need. So Texture 3D can be used to transform pictures into 3D models, and you will get better results if you use the generated images from Texture Image in the Image to 3D tool. The generated models are good, but you know, they are not there yet, and for this reason, you can use them for background assets, to fill the background, because as you move far away from the camera, they start looking better. So don't expect them to look like AAA assets because it's not gonna be happening anytime soon. The next add-on, also from the same developer Blender Procedural, is called Auto Depth, which includes two tools, which are the Image to Depth and Text to Image. The add-on will generate a depth height map from imported images, bringing them to life and giving them a 3D effect. The resulting generations can be tweaked from the add-ons panel, but the result is gonna be highly dependent on the image you have. Also, the add-on comes with a text-to-image generator as we said, giving your images depth as you might expect. The next Blender add-on is called 3D AI Studio, which is a 3D model generator from text. And for those who know about it, 3D AI Studio is a platform that enables you to use and generate texture 3D, image to 3D, AI texturing, in addition to remeshing. It has released its Blender add-on so you can work directly inside Blender, which is a nice addition. So the add-on enables you to generate 3D models from text and images. And the tool uses the 3D AI Studio platform, so you will need to create an account to use it. The Blender add-on is free, by the way and it uses a credit system like a lot of AI tools out there. The next add-on is not new, but it is kind of useful, and it is called dt to db and this one stands for Dream Textures to Deep Bump. 
The Allen allows you to bridge between two tools, providing an intuitive interface dedicated to creating materials with ease. Obviously, you will need both tools first to be able to use this add-on. But what you do, you will find this add-on in the shader editor. It will give you the ability to generate PBR materials using stable diffusion right inside Blender. And it will also allow you to generate a height and normal map for your textures. So all you need to do is give it a prompt and that's it. You will have your textures in front of you and they will be ready to use. You can pick the resolution and make a texture seamless. Under the deep pump maps, you can choose between normal and height and you can also select other maps like metallic and roughness. This add-on is really cheap because you can get it for only $1. As for the dream texture, you can get it for free or pay a small price to support the developers. Last but not least, we also have a very popular add-on and actually one of the first ones and that is AI Render Stable Diffusion in Blender. This add-on kind of aims to enhance your renders using Stable Diffusion AI, giving you a new look and a new feel. Simply put, the add-on will take advantage of renders and allow you to edit them using prompts. And you can change the style on the final image from a bunch of available styles in the render menu. These results may vary depending on the prompt, style, and of course, your original render. By the way, you will have to create a Dream Studio account before you can use the add-on. And you can sign up for free and get some credits to start. And if you don't want to create the account anywhere, you can install Stable Diffusion locally. And you can get the add-on for free on the Blender market or pay a small fee to support the developers. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.